We are here at the Chamber of Commerce Expo kickoff party. Rob Oliver is about to speak and blow everybody's mind. You actually want to have some sort of an outcome, maybe even make money, uh, maybe even make this thing worth your time. Raise your hand, and, and it's okay if, if you don't raise your hand, but, but raise your hand if you came to this thing 45 minutes early, and there's not even any liquor in this room, that's pretty crazy. Um, <laughs> if you came to this thing because you truly want to, like, rock the expo and, and, and get some new clients and make some money. In some of you, all right, good. Um, the reason I, I asked that question is because <coughs> you'll be shocked. Over here, you'll see we've got Krista and Amelia, and that's Madison. Katie, where's Katie? Katie is in the back. Uh, those we, we refer to them as our monarch special agents. We went to a trade show last Friday in Orlando. It's called the ASI Trade Show, biggest promotional item trade show in the country. It happens in Orlando. All the cool stuff happens in Orlando. People pay two and three and four and five and ten and probably twenty thousand dollars for a booth. There are six hundred exhibitors. They come from all over the country and all over the world. Half the reason I'm there is to see what they do in their booth and how they treat people so we can like take all of their secrets away and then bring them back to you. And here's the thing. We put our names you know, on their things. They have these card scanners. You know, you just walk up and they scan your card so they can um, contact you later and all that sort of stuff. We were there last Friday. Last Friday. Now, I'm going to talk about the 72-hour rule here in just a second. And um, so far... Pretty awesome, 600 booths. We went to almost all of them, didn't we? Um, yeah. We tried to like, engage people. Um, but so far, I've gotten one email, one email from one of the exhibitors, and it said, hey, thanks for stopping by our booth. Let me know if you need anything. Right? Right now, that's he's it. referring to the Orlando that's trade the show that we went right, to, right. the special uh, agents went we to last Friday. And, and, and again, we're going to dive into that agenda, and it, it will be super fast. But here's what we saw a lot of. And, and you guys, you can back me up on this. They were all there. Here's what we saw a lot of. What is that? Hey, thanks for coming. Do you want some candy? We have candy in a dish right here. And that's what they would do. I mean, did that happen again and again and again and again? Um, or we'd be talking to them, actually like engage them, like we might buy stuff, you know, we do spend a fair amount of money. And we'd be talking to them and they'd go like this. And this is true in business, and it's true at the expo. You guys do whatever you want to, but I'm kind of an anti, don't kind of let this kind of stuff happen. Um, you're talking to them, you're kind of trying to get, you know, feel for what they're selling, and they're doing this. Sorry. Sorry. I got to Just one second. It's important. Um, but I'm not. Right? So, um, <coughs> I'm going to cover this again. Rule number one. These things are not made for trade shows. Okay? They're fine. If you want to take a video, throw it up on Facebook or do something, put this thing away, put it in a box or whatever. You know, there's a lot of people who take great pride in looking people in the eye and saying, um, don't worry, I'm not going to take that call that's buzzing in my pocket. I'm not paying any attention to you right now because my phone's going off. Um, what I'm really saying is at the expo, you've got to show up and you've got to show up with purpose and you've got to show up with focus. Uh, don't let the technology get in the way. Um, really quickly, you guys have this sheet. It's, a, it's one sheet, two sides. Um, if you can see my notes, right at the top, it says, don't ignore the vendors. And then I put tonight. See, because here's the thing. I, and we didn't have time tonight to do introductions, but I know a few people in here. Um, we insure, right? Debbie sells insurance. I'm going to give you a commercial, OK? That's actually, actually next to her. She actually sells insurance, too. They're pretty cool. Are there any other insurance companies in the room? Okay, you're really awesome as well. Okay, just <laughs> equal time. Right? Um, but let me ask you something. How many people in this room have Right insurance? now we are at the okay. Chamber home, of Commerce. Bike, car, whatever it is, okay? Expo kickoff party. Video. And Rob is about to tell these people um, how, how to do their expo. We insure. Raise your hand. I would pay close attention. Okay. There's some suspects in the Okay. Um, they all buy insurance, and they're all getting it somewhere else. 
My point is this, tonight, before you leave, here's what's gonna happen in about, oh, 35 minutes or so, we're gonna open up these doors, everything's gonna go in there, and um, they'll, that's where the food and the drinks and all that sort of stuff will be. Your job is to set a goal, even tonight, as to what's gonna happen when you walk through those doors. Are you gonna leave If you have any questions say, awesome. about doing an, an expo, okay, please reply below. But get to know somebody. Um, you'll connect with somebody tonight. Uh, the odds are, if you if you work um, and, and pay attention to the relationship that you build with one person tonight, in fact, here's what we can do. This is awesome. See, there's a hundred booths in the show, right? Hundred companies. All of them could have come to this, right? Are we on Facebook Live? Yes. Mm, okay, I'm saving you. Um, all of them could have come to this, right? Uh, but we know the 80-20 rule is going to apply, right? 20% of the people who are serious about doing something will show up, and the other 80% are really on Facebook Live. The other 80%, you know, they'll maybe show up later, whatever. If you're uh, in the expo and you're not here at the um, kickoff party workshop, sorry to hear it, this is where all the secrets are. And when Katie turns that off, that's when we're going to give the rest of the secrets. Um, anyhow, um, gosh, what was I going to say, Katie? Help me out. Um, for, for the purposes of tonight, they don't know what's going on in this room. A bunch of other people are going to come. They're going to be over there. Just like walk up to them and be weird, okay? Hi.